Could our winter wheat harrowing experiment this spring provide a possible solution to available nitrogen in this spring drought? Morning everybody, Thursday the 1st of May and I've just been out looking at a field. It has been in long term uh, bird food mix and with the CSS contract finished last December, I think it was. And uh, so we're due to plant this year, but of course with the loss of SFI and the fact that we didn't have a scheme in place, we weren't able to renew. So the agent has called me and asked me to put it into a late spring wheat. We actually have some excess area for low input spring wheat that we haven't used up so we're going to flip the field into that so hopefully Jack is planning to plant that on Friday so with that in mind uh, just popped into this field on the way back and as you can see brown soil because this is the field where we planted the spring beans to help break up the grass walls so uh, just thought opportunity just to see how these beans are getting on so as you can see, the beans are just coming through here. We have managed to close the slots up pretty well. I'm quite pleased with this. Nice little run there. Um, I wouldn't say the beans are quite in a row yet. Or well, they're probably just poking through. We can, you can see them here, but they're not quite showing up as a green row yet. But overall, uh, despite this is a good this is a good challenging bit bit of an undulation here and looks like we still got good um, you know good depth on that one and uh, still coming through a little bit of nibbling on that last one bit of clover always seems to survive the glyphosate direct drilling scenario nice bit of metal let's just take that away oh plowshare Look at that, side slide for a plough. So, um, overall pretty pleased with this. We benefited from about 20 millimetres of rain last Tuesday. And I reckon that has saved this crop. So, fingers crossed, it continues. In fact, I just, something's just caught my eye. It shows up by the bottom of the muck heap compost heap where there was obviously more moisture those beans have come through faster and you can clearly see them so overall i'll keep you uh, updated on how this develops good morning everybody it's monday the 5th of may and uh, just offer a sort of bank holiday morning uh, walk crop inspection spring wheat behind us this is the field where we were having a little bit of trouble with the tilting of the claydon and hadn't responded particularly well to the harrowing so we've been out and whereas the rest of the spring wheat in this block have received a second harrow this one only received a roll and I have to say I'm really quite pleased with the outcome as you can see it's looking a bit a lot more consistent so that's a good recovery with reference to the drought because there's plenty of talk about the drought at the moment uh, these spring wheats have had sort of 60 kilos of nitrogen via digestate but they haven't had any artificial in and the wheats next door have received 60 kilos of nitrogen plus an additional top up sort of 100 kilos of bag nitrogen so that was received before the rain and we're holding back on the final dose until we get some decent rain but it's worth saying that these winter wheats are well into stem extension they've had their t1 fungicide this week so a really a marching through their growth phases and actually they look pretty good so quite encouraging worth saying though on a slightly different note on this farm 
We're already seeing the effects of the government's change in SFI policy. We have a field just down the road that is um, one of those fields affected by HS2. And because it's quite difficult to get to, it's been in a long-term repeating sort of overwinter bird food mix. But because it had come out of its scheme and we hadn't gone into the next SFI scheme, we've actually decided to put it into wheat. So very similar to the comments made by Harry Metcalf in his channel, already you can see the amount of environmental schemes being undertaken by farmers reducing as a result of the loss of SFI. So uh, interesting change in behaviour. And from our own point of view, there's no SFI for this year. Our scheme on the home farm finishes in uh, December. So we've just finished putting in our final application. And seriously considering what to do, I think one of the fields in particular, we've got quite a lot of NUM3 lagoon fallow. And we'll be taking that out and probably draining the land and then putting it back into wheat production. So it's interesting, already seeing changes in in behaviour as a result of government incentives. So this was the field where we weeded. It's a weeding trial and uh, continues to look nice and strong. and a non-weeded field next door, the other side of that tree. What I noticed as we walked around was a lot of folding or crimping of the wheat leaves, often a trait attributed to a change in weather conditions. In our case, I think this occurred when the weather changed from the cold, dry, easterly wind to the sunny, warm weather we've experienced over the last week. Unfortunately, the weather reverted back to the cold easterly over this bank holiday weekend. I was also talking to a farmer this week who commented on the variable establishment of winter wheats. I would agree with his comments. This field of ours in particular looks really great in the foreground, but exhibits barren bald spots in the background. I'm also a member of a benchmarking group who were discussing how crops were coping with drought stress. The general opinion seemed to be that the plants were coping well and not particularly stressed, but that they didn't seem to have utilised all of the applied nitrogen. I remain concerned about nitrogen's utilisation. And so we have not applied our final nitrogen pass and won't until we see rain in the forecast. I commented in an earlier video on the apparent improved nitrogen availability in recently harrowed crops. As a result, we have decided to harrow all of our spring wheat on heavy land to try and access the considerable soil nitrogen reserves in the absence of applied nitrogen. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe. It really does help the algorithms. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next video.